Hey Inkslingers, I'm really excited to be here and show you Rhinus' newest innovation in manufacturing technology. It's the Revolve Ink Mixer, a true rock star in ink mixing and modulation. Ink mixing and modulation is time consuming, hard on your body and hands, and it's messy, but it's such an important part of the screen printing process. But whether you're a small manual shop or have multiple automatic spinning, this is the game changer you've been waiting for. This thing will handle just about any type of ink you throw at it. We're talking about thick white inks, old inks, cold inks, water-based inks, you name it. Every shop and your screen printers are going to appreciate the production efficiency the Revolve Ink adds to your operation. So let's spin it up and dive into how it works. First things first is power. The main control power is located in the back of the unit, which controls the fan. So let's simply flip it on. Once the unit's powered on, your main on-off control switch is located right at top in the front. Let's grab the ink container we're gonna use and place it in the center of the check plate. Now, this is very simple to adjust. We're going to simply make sure that the handles are all the way loose, and then by using one hand on one handle and one hand on the other, we can move it in and out. And what I like to do is I like to get these centered and then just put it in fairly snug and then tighten them down. What you wanna be able to do is take your ink container in and out. You also wanna make sure that these pinch points aren't coming through your ink container, which will get in the middle of the mix. You can use this with different durabilities of containers, but it is easier to use a little bit thicker of a container. Once your ink container is in place and snug, you wanna kinda of turn it with your hands a little bit to make sure it's not slipping or moving with a simple hand turn. Keep in mind when everything's moving on the chuck plate, there are a few pinch points, so you wanna make sure that your hair is out of the way and your fingers are out of the way. We're gonna start with modulation, so let's insert a gallon with one of our thicker whites, Epic Poly White from Wilflex, which is a low cure white. Now that our container is secure, let's grab our ink paddle so we can start modulating. There's two different sizes of paddles, gallon, which you see here, as well as quartz. There's a whole other video on paddles too, which talks about maintaining and using or modifying them. We definitely recommend checking that out. But the most important thing to make sure is it's snug in the mixing arm. The first thing we're gonna do is insert the paddle. I wanna make sure that it's towards the edge of the container. I also wanna make sure it's all the way nested to the bottom. I typically leave this collar loose to allow this naturally to set. Now let's start modulating. There's two really cool features, both the rotation and the speed of your mix. Let's always start towards the slower position so that we're not turning it on full speed. The speed modulates between zero to 40 RPM, so we're gonna start relatively low. For rotation direction, I typically start to the left, which is the outside mix. Now let's simply turn it on. Once everything's nestled in there, you can easily speed this up. Now that we're modulating, you can see our paddles nicely snug against the edge of the container, and we got a nice ball of ink getting smooth in the center. We can also turn this up a little bit. I typically like to keep it around two thirds, not going too fast. Typically for modulation, you can do just an edge spin, but you can change directions here. If you do need to change directions, turn the revolve ink off, change directions, and then turn it back on. As you can see, the paddle spins to the center of the ink, making sure that the ink is also getting modulated in the center. This is really good for older or thicker inks. Let's talk about some speed ranges for different types of ink. Now for Plastisol, specifically thicker Plastisol, you always wanna start slower. As the ink warms up, you can then speed it up to about half speed, maybe getting a little bit above that, upwards to two thirds or 25 RPMs. For water base, because water base is thinner, you can definitely start a little bit faster and get a little bit higher on the RPMs. You don't really need to go really, really fast with this, so rarely will you be mixing at full speed, for ink modulation, you can see how well this thick poly white ink is turning in just a few minutes. This makes a world of difference when you get on press and printing through screen. Now that we're moving on to color mixing, let's turn off the Revolve ink and remove the gallon container. Now this is super simple to do because this quick release mechanism and the collar keeps the paddle arm up. So we just move that out of the way and then we move the gallon out of the way. For adjusting for a smaller size container, definitely recommend starting with a blank container so you get everything snug and smooth prior to that. You also notice some container shavings on the edge of the revolving. Just simply take an air gun and blow those out so they stay out of the way. Now we're just gonna add our last color into this Rio Custom Mix with the Majestic Magenta for mixing 225C. For this mix, we need to add 27.69 grams. All right, now that we're at 27.69, it's time to put it on and spin it up. First, when inserting your ink paddle, you wanna make sure that your paddle is inserted to the edge of the custom mix. And then remember, we're starting this a little bit slower, somewhere between 10 and 15 RPMs and a left mix. Once we ensure the paddle is scraping the edge properly, we're gonna go ahead and turn this up to 25 or so. 
The nice part about the Revolve Ink is once you got a good spin going, you can just let it turn while you're mixing other colors or doing something else in your shop. For custom colors, the center mix comes in very handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, change direction, and then turn it to the right or center mix. Once that's spun for a while, we're gonna turn it off and go towards the edge mix again. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our mixing spatula and just scrape the remainder of the ink off the sides and the bottom to assist that final color mix. Once we've done that, I'm just gonna scrape this off into the center of the container. So as we take our paddle off, we're gonna keep it in the container, but we're gonna actually keep it in the Revolve ink to mix the pigment off. Every mix is gonna be a little bit different, and as you can see here, we have some pigment, specifically white pigment, which was the majority of this mix, that is stuck on the paddle still. So I'm gonna kinda scrape this off using my spatula, and then I'm gonna keep this all on the Revolve ink. I'm gonna place the paddle back in, so I can spin it just one more time so I don't have to do that by hand later. Let's turn it on one more time. And again, may as well scrape these edges while my paddle's already in here, while my spatula's in here. And you can see some final white pigment being mixed into the ink. All right, now that our final, final mix is done, let's take the ink paddle off, scrape it off one more time, and then move it to the cleaning station. I like to keep my ink spatula in here because depending on the mix, you might need to give it just a couple twirls by hand. With this scenario, we have a really good Pantone match and it's very, very consistent in the bucket. All right, for cleanup, we have a whole other video on those paddles. Check that out for cleaning and maintaining your paddles. But for the ink mixer, you do wanna make sure that this is clean. So if you spill any ink through the process, clean it up, get it on a weekly cleanup schedule. Don't use harsh solvents, use a very mild solvent to clean specifically the face plate. And then always keep it lube with something like a lithium grease, WD-40 or Triflow. All right, now that everything's cleaned up, the last step is to turn the unit off in the back so you don't burn out your fan. And that's everything you need to know about the Revolve Ink Mixer. Be sure to check out those other deep dive videos for the paddles and other specifics about this machine. And if you have any questions, just reach out, we're happy to help. Till next time, keep powering the print.